All right, got another story out of Uganda. This time, once again, just the Muslims doing best at showing the kind of bloodthirsty fruit of Islam, just showing the kind of same bloody, uh, bloodthirsty mentality that the papacy have, which, of course, Rome is the mom of Islam. I can say a whole lot on that. The fact that Islam was started by Augustinian monks. But uh, I'm going to read this article. It says on jihadwatch.org, Muslim woman converts to Christianity. Her father kills her on the same day. And they quote from Quran chapter 4, verse 89, which talks about the death penalty for apostasy, for basically leaving the Ishmaelite pap papist religion of Islam. But I'm going to read this article. And this, this is what Christians go through on a, on a regular basis in the Muslim world. It says, a hadith, a hadith sorry, depicts Muhammad saying, whoever changed his Islamic religion, then kill him. Then he quotes from Bukhari uh, 984-57, I think that's how you say it. Uh, the death penalty for apostasy is part of Islamic law according to all schools of Islamic jurisprudence. Uh, this is still the position of all schools of Islamic jurisprudence, both Sunni and Shiite. Sheikh Yusuf al Khwarizmi, the most renowned prominent Muslim cleric in the world, has stated, quote, the Muslim jurists are unanimous that apostates must be punished, yet they differ as to determining what the kinds of punishment to be inflicted upon them. The majority of them, including the four main schools of jurisprudence, uh, Hanafi, Mal Maliki, Sha Shalfi, and Hana Hanabalai, I think that's how you say it, uh, as well as the four other schools of jurisprudence, the four Shiite schools, all agree that apostates must be executed, unquote. So it's a unanimous uh, belief. They all they all agree on that. Uh, so it says here on Morningstar News, he's quoting from Morningstar News, uh, this is in um, a woman in central Uganda who accepted Christ at a church service on May 29th was killed later that day when her father stabbed her in the eyes for leaving Islam, as sources said. After, receiving, after having several dreams about Christ, 28-year-old Hawa... Amoti of Na I'm probably not saying it right, Nanasana, uh, Wisco District visited a Christian uh, visited a Christian yearly, early uh, visited a Christian neighbor early in the morning on May 29th and said the neighbor unidentified, unidentified for security reasons. So basically this this Muslim uh, Ishmaelite Muslim animal essentially stabbed her in the eyes for leaving the death cult of Islam. Uh, it says her father, Haji Sharif, I'm not going to bother this, I can't pronounce these names, just is my, my, my apologies, uh, and brothers have already learned that she had been worshipping, she had been seen worshipping Christ at, at the church. When she arrived outside their home, one of her siblings said, Ag Agaba ordered the sons to seize her and beat her. He then took a sharp knife and pierced her eyes, said a brother, said a brother of Amoti, who tried to defend her. I want to remove those these eyes so you can't see, so that you can stop seeing churches forever. Even if you die, uh, we are not going to bury you. Ag uh, unquote. Agaba told her, according to the brother, the name is withheld for security reasons. Amato was wailing and screaming to neighbors who rushed over to rescue her. The Christian neighbor said, as more members of the community arrived, Agaba and his sons went inside their house. And you wonder why Genesis 16 verse 11 and 12 says Ishmael will be a wild man. Right there. See, these Muslims are a bunch of wild savages. And I'm, I, like, really, this is the kind of brutal mindset these Muslims have when one of their own leaves their death cult of Islam. And it's no different than the Roman Catholic papacy. But just like Genesis 16, verse 11 to 12 says, what is Ishmael? He's a wild man. What are Muslims? Wild men. You know, this is animalistic type behavior, but what's to be expected from Muslims? So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren and pray for the brethren over in these Muslim countries. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Like I said, goodbye.